What is happening, people? It is Brian Aldridge with NeverSafe.com, and welcome to this week's training video, which by popular demand is going to end up being my bench day. Now, I'm very happy to share my bench day because that is a lift that has been going pretty well for me lately, so there are a lot of tips and things that I am personally working on that I'm hoping to share with you guys real time during this training session in hopes that you guys will be able to apply it to your own stuff and it will help some of you out. Now, I'm also gonna be showing you guys a little bit of my training highlights from the rest of the week. Some stuff has gone really well and then there's been some stuff that is just downright embarrassing, but while we're doing that, of course, I wanted to go for the question of the day. So today's question is another two-parter, and if you guys do want to participate, all you need to do is leave your answers in the comment section down below, and I really do appreciate it, guys, because this does help steer where the channel goes, because it tells me what you guys are interested in, and also lets me know kind of the age demographic and everything else of the people that I am speaking to. So, the first part of today's question is, out of all the stuff that you bring with you to the gym, all the physical little things, your pre-workout, your protein shake, your lifting shoes, your belt, your straps, your elbow, elbow sleeves, what, whatever the case may be, the things that you bring with you to the gym, out of all those things, what thing is the most important thing for you to have for your training session? The thing that's so important that if you drive all the way to the gym and you realize you don't have it, you are tempted to drive all the way back home and grab it just because it matters that much for your training session. And then the second part of the question has absolutely nothing to do with lifting whatsoever, but I am really interested in the answer. And that is, out of all of the comedies that you've ever seen in your entire life, whether it be TVs, TV shows, or movies, or whatever the case may be, out of all the comedies, what do you rank your number one? For me personally, part one is pretty easy to answer, and that is chalk. I have a very hard time having a serious workout if I don't have chalk because I sweat profusely, and this has been a problem that I've had literally since I was a child. I've always sweated through shirts. My dad's a sweater. His dad was a sweater. It's just what we do. It's the one thing that we are excellent at is getting water out of our bodies. And so if I do not have chalk, it literally comes down to like a safety issue because ever since I started moving real weight, you don't want a barbell moving in places that you don't expect it to move. So uh, I think the last time that I actually walked in a commercial gym other than like for competitions and weird things like that, but last time I actually trained in a commercial gym was right around 2010 and the last day was because I got in an argument with the manager over chalk. Uh, because for probably about two years, it was a gold, and for about two years, I had been kind of a chalk ninja because I would bring my chalk in a gym bag and a little Tupperware container and I'd have my hands inside my bag between every set amazingly and then I'd be coming out and uh, hit my lifts and things like that. And at the end of my workouts, I swear to you, I would be very, very careful and I would do a very, very good job of cleaning all the chalk of all the plates I touched everything like that. And then one day the gym manager came up and he's like, finally, I caught you. You're the dude who's using chalk. Uh, if I catch you using chalk again, you're going to be kicked out of the gym. And I was like, can you please explain to me why I'm not allowed to use chalk? And he said, well, if it gets on the machines, well, and I was like, stop right there. I use literally in this gym, I use one power rack with the only plates that I ever touch are on that power rack. I use one barbell, which is on that power rack. And I might touch a couple dumbbells. That is all that I use in this entire place. And uh, me and the guy just kept going back and forth. Uh, we eventually agreed to disagree, and it came down to me saying, well, then give me my money back and stop me being a member because it, I'm not going to lift in an unsafe environment, and chalk makes a difference between something being safe or unsafe when lifting for me. And then as far as comedies go, I have to say my fallback, probably favorite of all time, has to be Step Brothers. I don't know why. Uh, out of everything I've ever seen, I've watched a lot of comedies, but uh, for whatever reason, Step Brothers, it just, they got me. Anyway guys, I thank you so much for participating. I do actually really, really enjoy this and I'm super interested in hearing what the most important piece of kind of add-on equipment that you always bring with you to the gym is. And I'm really interested in the comedy because since I don't have TV or internet, I end up having to download whatever, uh, whatever I end up watching. So having good opinions uh, matters a lot to me. All right, now on to training and the giant set for the day, which begins with the single arm T-bar row. Now I am doing the single arm version for a couple reasons. The biggest of which is that it forced me to breathe and brace in a much different sort of way. So I really, really like that. 
And the second reason is because it keeps things a little bit lighter on my lower back, because if I'm being honest with you guys, uh, from some tree work and some stuff that I've been doing around the property, my lower back is a little bit beat up today, so I didn't want to go super heavy, uh, because I do have a pretty serious squat day coming up in the future. From there, we move on to the bench press, where I'm going for a relatively heavy triple. I'm not trying to absolutely destroy myself today, uh, but I am trying to hit something of relatively decent weight here. After that, I go into barbell crawls, which are an extremely hardcore slash tricep exercise, uh, and that's why I have them here on my bench day. Now, I do know a lot of people wanna know how the bar is anchored to the ground to keep from slipping out, and the answer is it's not. It is just sitting there, and the force of your body weight pushing down on it is what holds it in place, but you do need to be super stable, otherwise it can get dangerous. Some people say they use a landmine. I honestly would not do that. I feel like that would make it worse. I simply just put it right on the floor. And then finally, the conditioning aspect of the giant set for today is going to be the battle rope. Uh, number one, because I'll be working my upper body more than I'll be working my lower body. And then number two, uh, like I said, my back's a little bit bashed up, so I don't really wanna do a carry or something else like that today when I have a big squat day coming up. I just have recovery in mind all of the time because of all the extra stuff and stress that I put on my body outside of the gym. All right, guys, so as you just saw, 385, 43 was my top set, which isn't terrible. It's not spectacular, but um, it's just about exactly where I expect to be at this point. So I guess I am happy with it, but I did want to take this time to share with you guys three things that I've been working on my bench a lot that I've seen to really be helping it progress quickly. And hopefully sharing it with you guys will help your bench progress quickly. So the first thing that I've really been working on is make sure that everything is tight and compressed and braced. So uh, obviously if you guys watch any of my bench tutorials or my bench how-to videos, you'll know that your back should be compressed back and down, just like if you're in the back of a row, like everything should be back and compressed tight. But a lot of people don't think about their core. You need to breathe and brace the exact same way that you would on a squat or a deadlift, because even though it doesn't seem like your core is that involved, believe me, that will make a huge difference. And then on top of that, the bench is as much of a lower body lift as it is an upper body lift because you have to be using leg drive and your legs need to be engaged. So much so that if someone were to walk past you when you were bench pressing and run into your legs, they should not move. Everything should be locked and tight because any bit of instability or, or anything that is not stable in your bench press is going to take away from your top bench pressing number. Believe that. Even if it is in your legs, so everything needs to be tight and stable and compressed. The second thing that I've really been working on is not being passive whatsoever on my descent with the bar. So once I do decide to bring that bar down to my chest, I am actively rowing it towards me. I think just as if I'm laying on the bench and I am rowing it towards me because that keeps my back super engaged, it keeps my chest up, and it also keeps my elbows tucked. And keeping tucked elbows means that I will have more horsepower in the press longer. And it keeps me in a better position and a healthier shoulder position for longer. And then the third thing that I'm working on is once that bar does touch my chest and I decide to reverse that motion up, I'm not thinking about pushing the bar upward. I'm thinking about pushing my back into the bench or I'm thinking about pushing my body away from the barbell as opposed to the barbell away from my body. And that just gives you more of a stable platform. It's very similar to when you're doing the deadlift. You don't want to think about picking the bar up. You want to think about holding the bar and pushing the world away. So I do the exact same thing in the bench press. So if you are having some problems with your bench press, make sure that you are tight and compressed and breathing and bracing and everything is engaged uh, because the bench press is a whole body lift. And then number two, be active on your descent. Do not be passive. Do not let that barbell take control of you. Row it towards your body and keep your elbows tucked and your back engaged the entire time. And then once it does touch your chest and you decide to reverse it, make sure that you're pushing your body away from the barbell instead of the barbell away from your body. I hope those things help, guys. And then as far as assistance goes, I did four rounds of the following giant set. So I started out with 15 reps at 225 rounds of the close grip bench press. Moved on to kettlebell pullovers. I honestly can't tell you how heavy this was. Uh, I'm just gonna call it green, but this was another set of 15. And then from there, I moved on to chain tricep extensions, which was the first time that I've ever done these. And granted, this is only a 50 pound chain that I'm really using. However, I was shocked by how fried it made my triceps just because all that wiggle and jiggle, uh, the stability was not there whatsoever. So that actually, made the exercise very, very hard. So four sets of 15 on all three of those exercises uh, absolutely did me in. And then I'll be honest with you guys, the heat is getting to me just a little bit. I'm getting a little bit lightheaded, so I'm going to cut it there, make sure that I am plenty hydrated, 
not dehydrated, and then uh, I'm going to get some rest. But guys, I do thank you so much for absolutely everything that you guys do to help me, to help the channel, just absolutely everything from your attention, to your views, to your likes, to your comments, to your shares, to all of that. It just means so, so much, and I just cannot thank you guys enough. I live a life of my dreams, and it absolutely would not be possible without each and every single one of you, so I truly, truly, truly do thank you. I will catch up with you guys later in the week. Until I do, go out something amazing, realize, keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. I see that. I feel funny.